Last night, there was an old theme that permeated through the villa, and it's that old saying, and I'm sure y'all all know it. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, okay? There were life lessons being handed out. There were people being humbled that needed to be taken down a notch. Let's talk about it, okay? Y'all know I have tried my best to give Keenan the benefit of the doubt. Now, when I say that, I'm not, like in years past, I've not gotten so attached to any couple. I like certain people. I don't mind them together. I have support. You know, I root for them, but I don't know if it's my skepticism. I don't know also if it's this group in itself has just been unique and how they have come together. But, um, I, you know, like I was fine. So I was really okay with Keenan saying he wanted to test because I didn't have anything else to compare it to with KK. But now... This is where the benefit of the doubt is lost <laughs> because I give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Test, whatever. Now, at some point, obviously I do think the test should end, but okay. You know, you just feel like whatever. Now, once you slap with her, just as a gentleman and I'm not, don't, no, no, I'm not going to, uh, this, no, I'm not going to negate, uh, KK for the responsibility that she has in this. Cause again, these are these life lessons I was talking about. And we've already talked about it on this channel before. But when you decide to cross that line and be intimate, there's nothing else to test, baby. Now, he does have a right to do whatever he wants. And some of this is on KK. And I know some people might not like it, but some of it is. And this is why I say as women in particular, we, you know, we, we are vessels. You don't have to let anybody in. You don't. You, you don't have to just, you can't sleep with every guy, girl, whomever that makes you smile. Okay. It's your, it's your body is sacred. And you want to make sure the respect that you have or the love and infatuation that you have for somebody is given in return. Now, the moment that that line was crossed, th there's no, you know, we, I feel like y'all should have been very clear on, you know, there's nothing else to test. But if I sleep with you and I'm still telling you, well, yeah, I'm okay. I'm open because you're scared you're going to lose them. Lose it. It's okay to lose that. It's, it is okay, KK, to lose that. If you decide to lay down with somebody because you're telling him, and this goes, this will go outside the villa. You are telling him what you're okay with. You're showing him that this type of behavior is okay. Now, Keenan holds responsibility, obviously, in this too. Because you make the decision to, to do this and you're the one who keeps throwing out, well, we need to test. I want to make sure we're solid. We're good. Okay. Well, now it's test time, baby. It's time to quiz. It's time for the standardized pencils, the scantrons, everything's out. And you tight. Why are you tight? Why are you tight? Mike, she liked him. She thought he was attractive. He seemed to show a little bit of interest. So why are you mad? If you think you're a solid, if the trust is there then you have no reason to be upset because all she's doing is what you said. That's what you insisted. Or was it only for you? See, the rabbit got the gun. It's not fun. Not fun. So now you're sitting over there with your jaws tight. Now, okay, it still could have been okay because, okay, Michael, because I like that KK was a realist. She realized that Hermione was his type. She's a, a good-looking woman. She's fun. She's got a good, she's got a fun person. She's got a lot of personality. So... You have the opportunity even to play in fields because you say this is somebody who's really caught in your eye and nobody has caught your eye like her because this is truly your type. So in that, you you know, because I'm about fairness. If you say that, then you still have no reason to be this mad and upset with KK. Now, where I felt like KK was wrong because they kept, both of them kept playing. The, oh, you know, I'm good at first. You know, I'm straight. You know, yeah, that's what. So when Imani came and they were over in Soul Ties talking. Now, for me, I didn't see an issue with that. Because if that's where you guys were and that's where she came to pull for the chat and you didn't want to move all about it, let's go over here. Now, granted, he could have taken the lead and said, oh, you know, I don't really feel comfortable. Or, let's, or just, you know, he didn't have to make a big deal about it. He said, let's just go over here and talk. He didn't. I'm fine with that. I mean, granted, even early on, my husband... You could have pulled my husband, you could take my husband to the moon and I wouldn't flinch. Okay. That's trust. Now I'm not saying, you know, like I don't think anything, you know, so I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm a high horse because anything, anybody can do anything, but that's the level of trust that I have. Now, 
if this man can't talk in soul ties and you are that concerned, or th girl, that's not it. That's not who you need to be with. It is not who you need to be with. It's just talking about healthy relationships. Now, I do think that you guys could have a connection. I think that um, I really still think that y'all could have met out in the real world and it could have been um, good. But those are some things that if you decide to move forward, um, they're going to have to be worked on. Um, okay. I thought Bergie gave some excellent advice. Bergie is the chef of the villa he is the counselor but as much as i you know a lot of stuff stuff has been said about bergy sometimes we talk about you know ways he can be naive but bergy was giving out honest true facts to king and he was giving it from a place of a, a genuine place and it didn't seem self-motivated and i really really just commend that and i respect that like you know is it worth it? Because you see, because this is a test, Keenan, that you were talking about. If you just see somebody who looks good, and is it worth it to just turn your head and throw away a connection that you already have? Now, again, KK was playing some of it, was playing some of it up, and I get it. As a woman, you want to let him know that, you know, I'm wanted, I'm desired, I still got it. Okay, there's room for growth on everybody's side, but I would have to say that Keenan takes a lot of the brunt of the issue. And they need to work it out. But ladies, life lessons, okay? And, and guys, too, everybody can take it. But have respect for yourself. Care about you. You got to take care of you first. Emotional well-being. This is sacred. You only got one you. You don't have to let everybody come up in you, okay? Take it. Take it from me. I promise. Don't take it from me like that because I ain't been out in these streets like that. And it's no judgment if you have, okay? But I'm just saying, respect, respect the vessel. Respect your body. Respect your temple. Men and women. I just had to put that out there because I want to. Okay. Miss Destiny. Miss Destiny. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. Y'all know I've tried to rock with Destiny. I've encouraged Destiny. I've tried to root for Destiny. Destiny is getting on my nerves. She's getting on my last nerve. Now, because I really have liked, I thought Jonah and her, I thought that was it. I thought it was a good vibe. And that, Now, I don't know. I can't tell if she's not into white guys. That's kind of what it seemed like she was inferring when she sat down with Mike. And maybe that's an issue. Now, y'all know I believe that personality is it for me. And I think that that's great. I understand that people have types and reasons why they like what they like. Fine, Which I'm totally fine with. I'm okay. I'm okay with all these things. But again, when the rabbit gets the gun, will it still be fun? Because she was smiling and kicking with Mike. And it seemed all good. But when it seemed like Mike who seemed like he was interested enough in her to a degree, um, but still, like, not, mm, I'm really not going to commit to you. Um, it didn't seem like, oh, well, now, because you wouldn't tell Jonah, like, I like him, you know, like, it was still, hmm, we're going to be cool. And then when it didn't seem like stuff was going exactly the way you wanted, you're going to hedge your bets. Now you're mad because Imani sees maybe what you don't see or you're choosing like you didn't want. And now you're mad when he wants to be, he can be pulled for a chat. All she did was ask to be pulled for a chat. And come on, you don't have to say it with the attitude. But all that is unnecessary. It's unnecessary. You're going to finish your sentence. Okay, well, go ahead and finish your sentence. And I'm just like mine. I'm going to stand right here. I'm not going all around the villa. No, I'm standing right here. Finish your sentence. That's petty. You don't tell no grown man what he can't do. Jonah, get up. Go ahead and talk. Because Jonah, what you... You deserve more. And I'm tired. Y'all might get on me. I don't know because I really tried to root for Destiny. I have. But I am not for anybody. Don't hold somebody back if you don't want them. You act like you were good and like, you know, I'm free. Like, I, you know, I really, I'm interested. I'm open. And Mike is my type. He's this and that. Okay, well, girl, you, you know, do you. I'm totally fine with that. But if you say that you're open, you're so open. Okay, well, he's open. If you open, then he's open. That's what everybody had to learn. Keenan, Destiny, if you are open, then who you wits open to? It, it, don't, it doesn't work like that just for you. It doesn't work like that just for you. And I really like Amani. I like Amani's personality. I do. I really, I'm telling you, that's for my females as we are all voting and doing whatever. Amani and Emily are up here for me. I really like them. And Hannah. And Hannah. I really, I wish we could get a little bit more because we haven't really seen Hannah too much. She's kind of in that counselor, mother and role kind of too. But 
I like Imani. I like her personality. And I really like Jonah. I like that Jonah doesn't, he's non-confrontational. He's not going to make a big deal about stuff. He seems very, very comfortable in his environments. And he's just about just positive vibes. Thus far, that's what it seems. So I'm all about that. I really, I like it. I'm interested to see where Imani and Jonah could go. Because Destiny, girl, like all that extra that you was doing, I don't see Jonah even being for that. Because again, what this goes into, even in the real world, like what, and even just in this experience, even let's say they don't make it to the real world, whatever, because we know a lot of people don't. But in this experience, is that what I want? This experience, I'm, I, how often do these people, as much as it is, is about winning, how often do you get to go on an island in Fiji and just be there and lounge about or whatever? Now, we also know that some of the circumstances and the behind the scenes might not be as beautiful as we hear. But, you know, for the most part, you are on an island, okay? Do I want to be arguing with somebody all the time? Somebody nagging me about looking at somebody when they're looking at some no okay mommy i like it. she did and she came and did what she was supposed to do one of my favorite bombshells ever my thus 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 far in the usa okay she came in she has she, she she has done what she's supposed to do and shaking stuff up but not necessarily in a messy way i didn't feel like i mean she granted she's got a big personality but i was okay with everything she did because she still seemed cool and she was very honest and upfront. Like, you know, that's not my, that's your, whatever y'all committed to, that's, that's kind of your thing. That's up for you to discuss. Y'all know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. Okay. So I like her. I don't, I'm interested to see how it goes. I still like, I, I like the vibe of her and Leo more than I like the vibe of him and Cassie. But we're going to see, Leo's playing the game. I still, you know, I, but we're going to see. Costa might make it real interesting when he steps away. Cassie just, she gets on my nerves. I don't know. Uh, my husband watched it for me with the, for the first time the other day. And he was like, who is she? He, 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 her and Destiny were not top on his list. And y'all know how I feel about Carmen. I'm still not convinced. I don't care how many ways they put it with Carmen and Kenzo. And I really do think, I like Kenzo. He seems like a really nice guy. But... I'm I'm just not feeling the sparks. It seems a little boring and unnecessary. Um, yeah, so Hannah and Mark, I like it out. And Mark was not liking that kiss that Miss Hannah was giving on Mike. It was a little long. I was looking at my clock. But other than that, y'all, uh, we got a little mess on our hands, but we're going to see how they clean it up. Now, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these life lessons that were handed out. Handed out. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Destiny and her little fall from grace for a moment of humility. I hope, and I say this, not even to, you know, to talk about people because I don't like to pile up on anybody. It's a lesson. Take it because sometimes we can sit in our feelings and be, you know, and I don't want it to be a vibe with her and Imani, like where they're trying to pit one, each other, you know, where they're up against one another. Let it go. Be good. Just, you know, know that now, okay, well, maybe I was feeling myself a little bit too much because, you know, you just came off Harrison and you were happy to have somebody else who seemed interested in you. Jonah was good. You got Mike now because now I'm a... Okay, when you were feeling like you had choices, honey, well, understand that people, other people have choices too. And how we move, how we do things is so important. How we do things. Y'all meet me in the comments. Let me know. You talk to me because I talk back. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And I'll chat with you guys real soon. You guys have a great, safe weekend. I love you guys. Talk to you later.